What is up everybody and welcome to the video. So I recently had, and long story short, it absolutely wrecked me and it's, I'm still facing the effects today. So I've been trying to get back on track with my diet and my training. So I dropped the calories a little bit with my diet because I think I recompositioned not in a desirable way and I changed up my training routine to a thing that I really enjoy. I'm gonna show you guys everything that I do today. Like in any relationship, you constantly have to be switching things up or else your eyes are gonna start to wander and you might do something bad. And that is no different with your diet. If you continue to have the same thing, you get bored of it, you're gonna cheat. So I have been making an omelet in the waffle maker and it has been so amazing. It is so simple. So I'm cracking four eggs right now with 150 grams of egg whites. Inside, I'm gonna be adding two strips of turkey bacon, which is very macro friendly. A little bit of peppers, onions, and then I'm gonna sprinkle in a serving of cheese. I love getting experimental in the kitchen. I wonder what I'm gonna add into the waffle iron next, even if it does cause some third degree burn. And this is a little bit more of a substantial breakfast than what I'm used to, but I just noticed lately that when I have a bigger breakfast, I actually feel better and less hungry throughout the day. I love waking up to a warm waffle, but three, it must be my birthday. So they are just the perfect canvas in which to express yourself because you can have them any way that you want them. And this is very delicious, very filling, around 550 calories. Calories and macros will be on the screen right now. And let's dive on in. It comes together in a way that I would like to call cohesive. So some people might say, is that an omelet? Is that a waffle? Just look at them and nod. Smile and nod, okay? Just smile and nod. We are now at the gym, AKA my basement. I have been loving the home workouts lately. So I drank my pre-workout on the way to my house and now I'm having some electrolytes that I like to sip on during my workout. Code 10 will save you 10% off all BPM products. Link is in the description. And speaking of BPM, we gotta do our $200 gift card winners here. So I picked up two randomly from the Ziz video. I was saying Z's, Kofi. I was saying Z's and I was saying Mirin instead of Myron. So the first winner is Dijon Didick, and the second winner is Katie Roser. Instagram handles will be on the screen. I will reach out to you personally. Congratulations, you guys won. We have plenty more giveaways to come in the future, even one in this video. So stay tuned. I'm still adjusting to the KG. So I got these Alico plates and I'm used to the 45s and they're 20. So like I'm pretty much having a calculator throughout the whole entire workout. So we got legs and shoulders day one on the menu today. My full routine will be in the description. Uh, so I have been working up to two top sets for all of my main compound movements of the day. I know we talked about that in the Tristan video and I started to notice a lot of people were doing that. So I was like, how about I try doing that too? So warming up on squats, you know, three to four builder sets up until two all out sets around six to eight reps. And I've been really enjoying this because I feel like it's more motivating knowing that you only have two sets to give it everything that you got. You go a bit harder and I've noticed I've been able to progress a little bit faster with my strength knowing I just have two sets. So starting with this, then we're gonna move on to some shoulders, go back and forth and then end off with some triceps. <laughs> So that was 330 pounds for a double. I usually like to kind of go close to my working set to kind of gauge where I'm gonna be at today. So probably gonna to go to 352 pounds for my two working sets and uh, we'll see how it goes. Eight reps, I think the bar speed was pretty good. I think I probably scared the shit out of my mom and my sister with that screaming. I'm gonna rest like three to five minutes and then we go again. Ooh. 
if the intensity is here, you really don't need more than two sets. Holy shit. Since we just did heavy squats in the six to eight rep range, now we're moving on to the shoulders and doing the lighter day for the shoulders. So next uh, legs and shoulders day, I'll start with the standing overhead press, heavy six to eight reps, and then I'll do the second day will be the leg press, 10 to 12 or 12 to 15. So lighter day for shoulders, seated dumbbell press, two sets, working our way up to two top sets, 10 to 12 reps. I suck at seated dumbbell shoulder press, man. But that's why you keep on doing them. You do what you suck at and it makes you better. <sighs> Next thing, we are going back to the legs, doing some Bulgarian split squats, the exercise that we all hate, but you gotta learn to love it because it's great for the vastus medialis. Deep. The next thing for the shoulders, we're going to be doing four sets. I like to do a lot of lateral raises for my shoulders. I prioritize them over a normal press. Four sets, 12 to 15 reps, and I like to do a variation that keeps me locked in and honest with my form. So I have an incline bench here. I'm going to lean forward and raise one. Towards the tail end of this workout now, and I'm fried, but we're gonna do a superset now for our hamstrings and our rear delts. We're gonna start with the dumbbell Romanian deadlift, three sets, eight to 10 reps. Superset with a rear delt fly on the bench. Go pretty light here, it's all about the contraction and the hold at the top. Three sets, 12 to 15 reps. Last but not least, I'm gonna be doing some tricep pushdowns, three sets, 10 to 12 reps, probably gonna throw in a drop set, and that'll be the workout. <laughs> Woo. Okay, so that was the first shoulders, legs, and triceps workout of the week. Like I said before, my entire routine is gonna be in the description for you guys to check it out. Try it if you want to, take some stuff from it and add it to your own routine. I'm not saying it's the best thing to follow, it's just what I enjoy. So now, let's go make some lunch. Like I get when I have my first sip of coffee of the day, you want your tofu to be extra firm. I love when my meat has a little bit of playful resistance. So we are gonna cut it up because tofu in its natural state is squishy, it's spongy, without the sex appeal of living in a pineapple under the sea. So we gotta you know, take advantage of that. And it's just like me when I was 18. It's flexible and easily manipulated. So we're gonna cut it up, put it into the bowl, and toss it with some soy sauce, a little bit of nonstick spray, and then a tablespoon of some cornstarch. We're gonna put it into the oven for 25 to 30 minutes at 400 degrees, it's a little bit crispy. And then we're gonna to toss it into these wraps that I love. So I have these all the time. So per one wrap, 62 grams, pretty good size. You're looking at 110 calories and eight grams of protein. The tofu is in the oven and I'm just whipping up a Thai peanut sauce that came in very clutch when I worked as the Thai royal family's concubine. Uh, so it's very, very low calorie, macro friendly, and it's delicious. So this is the ingredients that you are gonna need. You're gonna need to start off with six tablespoons of PP2 with three tablespoons of water, two tablespoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon of rice wine vinegar, one teaspoon of garlic, one teaspoon of hot chili paste or sriracha, and then a quarter cup of almond milk. And then you should have a consistency, kind of runny, but as you let it sit, it will thicken up and it's delicious. Calories and macros of this meal will be on the screen right now, and that is for half of the block of tofu. And the tofu is so crispy from the cornstarch. That sauce <clears throat> will make you want to take risks and go Thai in places you never thought you'd want to go Thai. Is this so long? Maybe. You guys know I love to do my cardio and I always like to mix it up. And I have been loving playing the Oculus VR boxing. It's a crazy workout. If you haven't boxed before in your life, you would know that boxing is super hard. Even if you're in the round for like a couple of minutes, it completely wipes you out. So I do a couple of rounds every single day, around 20 to 25 minutes, and it kills you. So I'm gonna show you what one of these rounds looks like. 
guy's nose is already red. What's this guy's tactic here? He's just like turtling on me the whole time. Yep. That was like two minutes long. And that absolutely destroys you. It's so much fun. And we're gonna do an Oculus giveaway. So what you gotta do is you gotta like the video, you gotta be subscribed to the channel, you gotta comment down below your Instagram handle, and if you could live in a video game, which one would it be? We're gonna announce the winner on February 13th. So make sure to comment down below, like, and subscribe. Now, let's go make a snack. I'm gonna feed you today, Kofi. Oh, oh, it must be yeah. my birthday. Yeah, so this is a very good one of my go-to snacks lately. So it's a baked apple, and then once it's done, we're gonna put some Greek yogurt with it. So I have two Granny Smith apples. You can use whatever apple you want. I just prefer a little bit more experience, which is why I use the Granny Smith. Here in this bowl, I have two tablespoons of the brown sugar swerve, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and then one tablespoon of some raisins. Not only is this a great snack, but this is also a really good dessert as well if you want to pair it with a Halo Top ice cream or something like that. The mixture has been evenly distributed. Now we're gonna add, I know people are gonna start freaking out, like, isn't this the anabolic kitchen? It is, but we're only adding a teaspoon, one teaspoon of actual real butter on top of each apple. It's gonna make a world of the difference. It's not that many calories, so right on top. And then the last step before we put it in the oven is to put a little bit of boiling water on the bottom of the pan so the apples don't stick and it also makes a nice syrup too at the bottom. So some boiling water, just a shallow kind of layer at the bottom, just like that. We're gonna pop it into the oven. I have it preheated 400 degrees, 30, 40 minutes. Takes some time, but it's well worth the wait. And there you go, it's like an anabolic apple pie. Okay, so I am on dinner duty tonight for Katie and I, and when it comes to Tex-Mex food, it's very easy to cross the border into something unhealthy, but not today, because I am making this chicken, zucchini, vegetable, Tex-Mex mix. It's not gonna taste like the one that Pablo's abuela made. I don't know what she did, but it tasted more legal than anything else that we had going on. So we have a full onion, a full red pepper, and two cloves of garlic uh, sauteing up in there, and now I'm gonna add 16 ounces of white meat, taking advantage of that time that white meat will actually mix with another culture. So you're gonna add the chicken to one side of the pan and then move the veggies over, just like so. So 16 ounces is two servings, and now we're gonna season it up with around two teaspoons of cumin, my favorite spice on the planet, right on top of the chicken. And then of course, a little bit of salt and pepper, and we're gonna let that cook down for around five minutes before we move on to the next step. Five minutes have elapsed, and now it's time to add the rest of the stuff. So I have two diced up yous or a new zucchini, whatever you have, into the bowl here, slash the pan. Oh. And then next we are gonna add one cup fresh or frozen corn, just like so. One full can of some black beans if you really wanna test the bounds of your relationship. Right in. Half of a tin, so 14 ounces of some diced tomatoes. So I found one here with herbs and spices already inside it, so half of the can. About that. And then we're gonna add a little bit more seasoning. So I'm gonna go in again with a little bit of cumin, around another teaspoon or so. And then another teaspoon of some taco seasoning, a store-bought taco seasoning. Only 15 calories per serving, and it goes a long way, so maybe a teaspoon or two. We have our mixture made, and last step is to add some of this Tex-Mex cheese. Cheese is like the Samuel L. Jackson of the food world. It doesn't require a big presence to make everything much more enjoyable. So a nice, generous layer around, I'd say two servings on top, which is 60 grams, and then we're gonna pop it into the broiler. So you can really like do whatever you want with this mixture. You can put it on some rice, some quinoa, you can put it in wraps. Um, I actually like to put it and actually use it as a dip for some Quest chips. So I take uh, one of these bags, only 140 calories, and I'll use it as a scooper. So I'm gonna have one of these tonight. Very filling, a lot of protein, and it will keep you full. Get some of your dip, and then put it to your lip. 
It tastes like my last trip to Tijuana. I've never seen Carlos so in his element. So usually dinner will always be like, no matter what my calories are, will always be my biggest meal of the day. So I was typically having today, like my breakfast was around 550, lunch was around 500. This, I haven't really estimated in my head, but I have to assume it's around 800 to 900 calories, somewhere in that range. I like to go to bed feeling really, really full. So I have this and then a little bit later around 9, 9.30, I'm gonna be making some dessert. What would you give my uh, Mexican thing out of 10? Um, 10, it was very flavorful. You give me a 10? Yeah, it looked like you wanted a 10. I did, thank yeah. you very much. You're welcome. Okay, so the last meal of the day, technically, um, I like to kind of have a choice here where I do either anabolic ice cream, uh, a protein bar, or some protein cereal. So I've been very much so enjoying some Magic Spoon and they actually came up with some new flavors and they have actually more characters. They have more characters than Game of Thrones. So per serving, it's 140 to 170 calories. You're looking at around 13 grams of protein per serving, zero grams of sugar, and only five grams of net carbs. And the serving size is pretty big compared to actual regular cereal. 37 grams, one cup, 150 calories. Pretty hard to beat, keto friendly, gluten free, a bunch of good stuff. Highly recommend it. If you guys wanna pick some up, you can actually make your own four pack. And if you go to the link in the description and use my code, you can save $5. I highly recommend it. I cannot believe how good cereal is. It's as sweet as a kiss. So I'm gonna what? put- You're getting jealous here. Oh yeah? Yeah. That's the point. Okay, so I put my total calories and macros for the day on the screen. Slightly under maintenance, but that's exactly what I wanted. Steps are 9,744. So I gotta do a little bit of pacing tonight after we watch some Ozark. So I'm gonna wrap it up here. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to drop it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.